I was on bail for 19 months. And in that time, I met a partner who's still beside me, he's got no criminal record or anything. Really good role model, and we had twin boys. And it was it's either the toy, you change your ways now, or you give them this kind of life. And I always knew when I had kids, I never wanted them to suffer. I didn't want them to have the life I had or had seen what I'd seen. I started Rising Stars when I was actually incarcerated myself in prison. Um, six weeks after I come out of prison, I applied for the School for Social Entrepreneurs. We're a third sector organisation and we provide property services to mainly the social housing and construction sector. Um, the social part, or the social aims that we do, is to provide work experience, training and employment opportunities to disadvantaged groups. The hard work of this business doesn't really deter me. Helping people is what I do, that's in my nature. I'm Christopher! That's me. How long have you been working at Rising Stars? About, about two years, two and a half years. Christopher, have you had a job before? Oh, have you ever had a job? No, because I've been sitting in the towns all my life, that's why. It's like a family. It's like a sister to me, to tell you the truth. <laughs> I joined the Lloyds Bank Social Entrepreneurs Programme in partnership with the School for Social Entrepreneurs because I wanted to learn more about business. I wanted someone that understood my, my passion and my aims and turn it basically into a business and I found this was the right programme. The School for Social Entrepreneurs peer-to-peer -peer support was invaluable also because there's so much that you don't know, that you think you know, but your peers know. SSC were the first people to believe in my business really. They were the ones that gave me the grant. We used that to start the company and to help the company evolve and it was brilliant. And the School of Social Entrepreneurs programme, the, the, the leaders and the mentors all saw something in me. So if they can see you trying, they're going to equally push you as well, aren't they? So I'd give you advice, you, you know, you're going to get out of life what you put in. And if you put in nothing, you're going to get nothing back. Don't expect it through my taxes. Get up and work. <laughs>